Hello and welcome back to the ocean. It is great to see you here. The mission today is hopefully try and get some kingfish. Our first dive, we're going to be hitting a peninsula not far north of Auckland. We're going to be diving with Rudy, originally hailing from South Africa. Kingfish have a huge distribution around the globe, from New Zealand to Australia, from South Africa to North America. But New Zealand is known around the world for having the biggest kingfish. My buddy calls to me from the surface. I know he's got a shaft into something. I swim over as fast as I can and attempt to make a dive. I'm basically totally out of breath. If this fish is deep, there's no chance that I'm getting to it. Kingfish get big and they fight hard. Even a good shot doesn't necessarily guarantee landing the fish. That was exciting. The purpose of this video is to show you that the fish are out there. Even in Auckland, New Zealand, you can still strive to live a more self-sustainable lifestyle. Hunting and gathering our own food is for the most part a forgotten art, but I believe we can greatly benefit from reconnecting with its ancient tradition. The value of what I'm sharing today is it can hopefully inspire you to live a more self-sustainable lifestyle. Full self-sufficiency is incredibly hard in the modern world, however there are steps that we can all take to strive for more. Spearfishing is a great way to break the consumer cycle and enter the real world once again as a predator, a hunter, a gatherer. Once again, Rudy has got onto the fish. So I'm sprint swimming back over on the surface, ready to make a dive, ready to make that second shot. A second shot is not always essential, but always a good idea. You might as well try close out the fight as quickly as you can, especially with kingfish. They're incredibly strong, they have the power to drown you, and when sharks get involved, it gets really messy. Descending through the silt, I'm starting to lose my bearings, trying to keep track of the shooting line while staying vertical in the water. I manage to finesse my way down and locate the fish, lining up for a second shot. Do you feel robbed at the supermarket? Do you know where your food comes from? Do you even care? Nutrition comes from living things in nature. For thousands of years, humans have been an integrated part of the natural world, hunting and gathering to provide for themselves and loved ones. In recent times, we live in a disconnect however, we have been conditioned. Think about food, you probably think about supermarkets and restaurants. Nutritious healthy food is all around you. On the land and in the water lies everything you need to live a full, healthy, happy life. Don't be fooled by greedy human industry into thinking the world is against you, it is for you. Rudy got reefed on the first king and lost his shot, but thanks to a bit of spare ingenuity, we came with the win. Oh, there's like a bunch out there now. I know they say size doesn't matter, but today will be proof of that. Hopefully. I can see the end of it, so handy. The North Shore beaches are very much in the heart of Auckland City, but even here, fish can still be found if you're willing to get out there, get wet and put some effort in. I think that a lot of people live under the assumption that the waters around Auckland are totally fished out. It is New Zealand's largest city and there's a huge amount of fishing pressure in the area. However, the abundance of the natural world never fails to amaze me. Did you see them when I... Yeah, they're definitely there. Then there was another species that I don't know. I don't know if you saw another thing. It looked like a really, really big bait fish. I don't know, I saw something in there that was pretty big. I don't know what it was though, it was more silver than like. Yes. And they move around. It seems like all the birds have bugged off as well, but I guess they just don't like the rain or something. Actually, there's birds up over there now. This light will probably also make it harder for the birds to... What makes foraging difficult in modern times? For thousands of years, humans have been modifying the natural environment. A lot of ecosystems have disappeared, as our people spread across the globe. The world has changed, the abundance of other beings and the biodiversity of ecosystems has for the most part been decimated. 
Our ancestors had the privilege of witnessing the natural world in a less corrupted state, but we now have access to more knowledge, information and technology than ever before. Allegedly, our use of tools and knowledge is what sets us apart from other life forms. I believe that the current climate is the hardest ever to live a self-sufficient lifestyle. But because of everything we learned in our destructive, fruitless conquest of Mother Nature, we have the potential to live with more understanding and connection than ever. Alan has seen some decent sized yellowtail kingfish. So I'm off down to the bottom through the murky green to see what I can run into. I'm scanning, I'm grunting, I'm looking around, trying to see what I can see. On this flat, broken ground, it's hard to know where the fish are holding, so it pays to move around a bit and try and locate them. <laughs> Head scanning constantly side to side. When the fish appears, you might only have a second or two to react. I hear the sound of a shot. I look and there's a kingfish. I line up for a second and it bounces. The first shot isn't great. We have a potential catastrophe on our hands and I've missed the second shot. I need to get back to the surface, reload as quickly as I can and try and get back down there to secure the fish. The mini roller gun they brought today is great fun in the terrible vis. However, when it comes to putting shots into big fish, it leaves a little to be desired. I'm headed back down trying to line up as the fish does everything that it can to avoid me. I know I need to make this one count. I can't afford to miss a second shot. I've hit the fish, but just barely. I can see that my shaft hasn't gone all the way through. I haven't got through to the flopper. At this point, it's not looking good, and both shafts could possibly come out at any point. However, there's not much I can do at the moment. Money is the blood of our modern matrix, a simulated reality dictated by governments and corporations. Everybody has to eat, but most people have no interest or knowledge regarding foraging and hunting. The vast majority of people get the vast majority of their food by buying it with money. It is convenient, but it puts us out of touch with our food. It makes us very vulnerable to outside influences. Money is a tool used for controlling people. By gathering your own food, you're giving yourself a little bit of freedom back. After getting my breath back, I'm headed down to rest for this fish. I know it's got to be basically now or never. I grab the fish and force the second shaft through it, securing it, before bringing it up to the surface with alarm where we get to rejoice in the moment. Before it gets a bit of revenge and kicks me in the head. Caught a kingfish in Auckland. The job done, success, big fat tick. A lot of people will probably tell you that it can't be done, but I can assure you that it can be. Get out there and try and catch some of your own food. When you're out on the ocean interacting with these beautiful animals, always conduct yourself in a diligent way and be very respectful of the lives that you take. Do not waste these fish. Do not let anything die in vain. Thank you for that second shot, man. Lekker! First one bounced off, and that one didn't go through the whole way, so I went down and just shoved, tried to shove it in. <laughs> it's a good fish. fish. Excellent condition. I believe that famine is in the cards, and being self-sufficient could be salvation for you and the people you love. Death has come knocking, and it seems war and inevitability. When it happens, global supply chains will disintegrate, and many will likely starve. These birds are so bad, hey? Yeah, they're eating the kingfish. You do not need to be self-sufficient right now, but I believe there will come a time. So heed my warning. The world is changing. Our leaders and technologies are turning against us. Really? Learn to live free of the system, or it will enslave you.